Hi guys out there, all my followers, welcome to another video. This video today is on a Audi A4 uh, 2008 and uh, this is the S line with the 1.8 petrol engine. Um, and uh, this car came to me because of uh, misfiring. So you can easily see that the engine is now running smooth and you can easily see there is a misfire and uh, what we're going to do, uh, the first thing I'm going to do um, or, although I already done it but just for the purpose of the video uh, we're going to scan the engine first And um, there is one, two, three, four, five codes, I think. Uh, the first one, I'm going to ignore this one for now. Uh, don't think this is the cause of it anyway. And uh, But we have here um, an active code, uh, P0304, cylinder 4 misfire detected. Then we have P130A. Uh, hide cylinder uh, this basically means is uh, disabling this cylinder uh, random or multiple cylinder misfire detected the last one fuel level too low uh, we'll ignore that one as well it doesn't really matter that one so what I want to do so uh, as from here uh, this is already point made to uh, um, a cylinder number four uh, although we have that one in there saying uh, random um, cylinder misfire detected um, there is a possibility that uh, if one cylinder starts the misfire uh, due to the imbalance of the engine it will start to detect misfire on another one I've seen that happening so don't know if that's the case here but um, but let's gonna start the engine and see uh, and see what we can see and the live data You probably are not going to be able to see this in the camera. But you're not going to be able to hear it. When it misfires, but... But I can feel it misfiring quite easily. So let's going to go to live data, see what we can see in there. Okay, so I'm uh, scrolling down where I want to go, and uh, here we have misfires per 1,000 uh, revolutions of cylinder. Um, I don't know if you can see there. Cylinder number four. So misfires, uh, some, so the total, there's only one misfiring at the moment. And you can easily see it's constantly going up. And obviously every time the engine goes 1000 revolutions, uh, it just goes down. Uh, it just resets itself. But you can easily see that there's something wrong on that cylinder. I haven't touched the pedal, um, the accelerator yet. Uh, at the moment, uh, engine light and EPC lights are off, um, but they randomly come on and they put the engine in limp mode. When I rev the engine, oh, you, as you can see, it just reset it, start it again.
So, yeah, definitely there's something wrong with that engine. Okay, so we know it's cylinder number four. Um, <clears throat> earlier when I've done it, and that's why it was the the code for multiple cylinders misfiring. Uh, number three, oh, there's one there now. Number two, as you can see in there, he came up with one as well. I believe it's all related to number four. Uh, maybe, don't know, don't know. We, we, we're going to have to investigate this further. But for now, I'm going to start to check the basics. Uh, check low plugs, uh, sorry, check uh, spark plugs first. Uh, see how they are. See if they are all good, in good shape. Uh, come back to, move back to uh, ignition coils. Uh, probably, maybe put the oscilloscope uh, on, uh, on them. Make sure the signal is get there for them to fire. But... But start from the basics first. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do now. Um, as I said, check the basics first. So uh, remove all the spark plugs. They all look fine to me. Although that number four was visible, that was not burning uh, properly. Uh, it was a bit of black carbon buildup, sort of. Um, but uh, what I've done next, while I had the, um, the coil packs out, is I swap number one, number four, with number one. So number one cylinder is the one right at the front. Number four is the one close to the bulk head of the engine, uh, this side. So I've, I, I swap them around. And uh, obviously you might be thinking already, if the problem moves to cylinder number one, then we know our problem is going to be the coil and look at that so the problem now is on cylinder number one which uh, leaves me with a with a good uh, feeling of confidence that is going to be the coil um, and uh, anything else so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to get hold of a new coil and um, and we'll go from there Okay guys, so I just got back from Audi, uh, just got a new coil, oops, just got a new coil, so this is the, sorry guys, this is the old coil, this is the new coil, so it's a slightly different design, but it's for this module, so an upgrade from there, from that one, um, and before I put this coil and uh, we see if we fix the problem, um, it was another way for you to actually uh, diagnose uh, this bad coil uh, using uh, the the oscilloscope. Um, I found this way a little bit quicker. Um, if this wouldn't lead me anywhere, uh, obviously then I would start to get a little bit further. But um, another way was using the oscilloscope. And the way you would do that would be by putting one channel on your signal to the coil. So the signal that comes from the engine module to uh, activate this coil. Uh, I'm not sure which wire is now, guys. I would have to research. But uh, one of these uh, pins in here is going to be uh, the signal. So it would be put uh, one channel on there. And another channel using, a, um, using an adapter would be the other channel on the secondary um, circuit so one on the primary circuit over there and one on the secondary uh, circuit um, so basically the coil would have to come out from the from the slot uh, you'd have to connect this um, uh, outside um, and then you'd have to put a lead from here to the spark plug and then clamp put the clamp adapter in here to be able to connect it to the oscilloscope uh, and what you'd see would be, uh, you'd see, let's say channel A, for example, you'd see uh, uh, a ramp every time the engine ECU would trigger the coil. So you'd see the ramp. And what you should see would be on, this on the other channels, you should see exactly the same or a, a very similar uh, um, um, 
you should see, depends how you set up your oscilloscope, depends on the adapter, but you should see a signal exactly at the same time. And why you'd see, because this coil was failing, you'd see that sometimes you'd see the signal on the primary circuit and nothing on the other, on the secondary. So that would say the coil was not was not working. That would be another way, but for that, guys, there's a, there's a, a user here, uh, Kiwi Home Garage. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. He has a really good videos uh, on oscilloscopes and stuff like that. He, he has much more patience to explain that than me. Uh, and he actually did a good video explaining how to do that test. So you could do that, or you could do the way I did. Uh, the outcome, in the end, is very uh, similar. So yeah, Kiwi Home Garage, I'll leave the, the link in the description below. Have a look at his videos. Surely he, he doesn't mind that I leave the link here uh, to his channel. Have a look, and uh, you will... Uh, You'll see what I'm talking about. So for now, we're going to replace this. And we're going to put this new new one in, and we're going to see if we fixed our problem. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm ready to start the engine for the first time now with the new coil. And straight away. I can see that there is no misfire anymore. Definitely there's no misfire. Let's see if there was any codes. No, he never triggered the code for that because I never ran for that long. But just let's gonna let me log out from the engine ECU first. So let's gonna go just in the live data. But yeah, much smoother. Yeah, no misfires anymore. Just double check on the uh, over there. And there it is. Engine is running. And there is no misfires. No misfires at all. The engine is running. As soon as I've started, was visible straight away that uh, the misfires were gone. Uh, and that's it, really, guys, uh, for today. So, a bad coil. That's all it was. Easy enough. Um, I was a little bit reluctant uh, when I found that was the problem. Uh, in post the video, you know... Uh, End of the end of the day is is not nothing very special, you know, not nothing very difficult to diagnose. But uh, surely there will be someone out there uh, that that will find this useful. Uh, so with that in mind, I'll, I'll post the video, and uh, who knows who's going to help someone out there, guys. Um, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, guys, have a nice day, and uh, that's it for today.